farmland preservation. It's a sensitive topic in a state that has a lot of farms, but also a lot of development. There is a government program to make sure farms stay farms. Seth Kaplan reports. We get these releases from the Ag Department from time to time. You see here this month, nearly a $10 million investment to protect farms from development. About half of that right here in the mid-state. But we wondered, where does the money come from and what happens to the farms? We're standing on a property that is owned by us, a Dual Valley Overlook Farms near Felton, PA. Jim May, one of the owners. A little over 100 acres that's been in production for over 100 years. By the same family most of that time. The Trout family but uh, he's deceased and uh, we acquired the property uh, a few years ago. And now from them, the Commonwealth has acquired, well, what exactly has it acquired? The covenant that each of these farms have entered with the county, with the state, and these farms are preserved forever, right? They're farms forever. It can't be a strip mall or any kind of a residential subdivision, housing development. In York County, the state paid almost $900,000 and the county kicked in almost another 400,000 for that promise from Dual Valley Overlook and five other farms. Nothing else about the farm changes and that's the point. The farm rotates its uh, products on a, an annual basis and has produced such items such as soybeans, corn, uh, one year it was in hemp. Uh, wheat. Where does the state money come from? Back in the 1990s, at first, a bond issue. It's now cigarette taxes. We get uh, about 20 million or so. Something called the Growing Greener Fund makes up the rest. Redding says you not only keep farmland farmland, but there's also a positive financial return on the investment because Jim May can take the money and go invest it in making the farm more productive. In the studio, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.